A really long time ago, the family of domestic pigs started in Eurasia from wild boars about 2 million years back. These pigs were like detectives on the forest floor, using their excellent sense of smell and movable snouts to find tubers, fungi, and insects. People noticed how good they were at this, and that's when pig domestication started in places with lots of trees like Anatolia and China around 8,500 to 7,000 BC. Now you can find pigs everywhere except Antarctica, living on family farms and big commercial operations around the world. Baby pigs are called piglets, and they usually come in groups of 8 to 12 after their moms have been pregnant for 3 months, 3 weeks, and 3 days. Pigs have lots of babies at once because when they're born, they don't have many ways to protect themselves. Piglets weigh 2 to 4 pounds when they're born, but they grow fast because they drink their mom's milk, which has 8% fat and gives them important nutrients. In just their first hour, piglets can stand, drink milk, and start figuring out who's the boss among their brothers and sisters. This fast growth helps them have a better chance of surviving. You can easily spot them because they have curly tails and big, floppy ears right from the beginning. Pigs can live for 8 to 15 years with good care. Depending on their type, they can weigh anywhere from 100 to 1,000 pounds. Pigs have strong bodies, small eyes, and noses that are good for digging in the dirt. Their noses are especially important because they have up to 300 million odor receptors, helping them find food by smell. Even though pigs can see colors, their sense of smell is what they rely on most. Pigs have 44 teeth for chewing and biting plants. Their tough skin, thin hair, and mud help protect them from the sun because they don't have much natural protection. Pigs have split hooves that help them walk through muddy and rooted areas. They spend a lot of their day, around 75%, using their nose to find food. They also eat a mix of plants like grass, acorns, and fruits, as well as things like insects, worms, reptiles, and even carrion. This varied diet helps them do well in different places, whether it's in the forest, on pastures, or in indoor pens. Wherever pigs are, they use their nose to find food. Adults eat about 3-5% to of their body weight every day, so finding food keeps them busy. Pigs have preferences for certain foods and can remember where to find their favorite treats. Before we continue like this video and subscribe to the channel so you are the first to know when a new video is out. Now let's talk about how pigs can mate at any time of the year. Female pigs, called sows, can start having heat cycles as early as 2 months old. These cycles happen every 18 to 24 days and last 2 to 3 days. If mating happens, the attachment of embryos pauses until conditions are just right for pregnancy to continue. This flexibility helps pigs survive in different environments, and the number of piglets in a litter can vary depending on climate factors. When it comes to courtship, male pigs make vocal sounds to show their interest, and the actual mating lasts for a short 2-5 to five minutes. Pigs are promiscuous, and one female pig can mate with many male pigs in one session. This high reproduction volume is why pigs got a reputation over time for having strong desires. A long time ago, people who hunted and gathered started turning wild boars, which are like big pigs, into calmer pigs that provide meat. This was one of the first animals humans tamed, showing the start of permanent living areas. Pigs were good at turning food waste into muscle meat, becoming important in farming. In places like China, the Mediterranean, and Eastern Europe, people heavily relied on cured and cooked pork. Even though some religions, like Judaism and Islam, had rules against eating pork, pigs were still one of the most eaten and important animals in the world, along with chickens and cows, and this continues today. Around 10,000 years ago, people in the ancient Near East, 
which is an old part of the world, began taking wild pigs and turning them into domesticated pigs. We know this from old trash piles in Israel, where they found pig bones showing that people were choosing pigs with floppy ears, which means they were trying to control how pigs looked. In ancient Greek and Roman stories, pigs had important roles, like being sacred animals in Athens and even appearing as the goddess Aphrodite in the shape of a pig. There's a famous story that says the name of the Roman kingdom might have started as an insult from nearby tribes, calling it the City of Pigs, which eventually became the word for the capital city, Capitoline, showing how important pigs were in the ancient western world. Wild boars are having a tough time because people are cutting down forests and building cities, taking away their homes. People's tastes for pork also led to breeding pigs for leaner meat, but this caused more problems for the baby pigs, like more birth defects and trouble dealing with heat. In the 1980s, big changes in how the pork industry worked led to a mysterious sickness called porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome, PRRS, which started in European farms and quickly spread around the world, still hurting pig herds today. Sadly, many pigs on big farms go through painful procedures like castration and tail docking without medicine to help with the pain. Laws now protect pigs from being treated badly, and rules make sure slaughterhouses handle them properly. Some farms let pigs roam freely and avoid using antibiotics in their food to keep them healthy. Because people spoke up, big companies like McDonald's and Smithfield decided to stop using small crates that made it hard for mother pigs to move. There are also efforts to stop testing cosmetics on pigs, and volunteers at sanctuaries give abandoned pigs good homes. People who care about the environment work to protect wild boars and help them live peacefully alongside other animals in their natural habitats. Micropigs became popular as cute pets in the 2010s, but owners soon discovered they could grow into 100 to 900 pound adults depending on the breed. Having a pig as a pet is a long-term commitment that might not work for many households. Some smaller breeds and crossbreeds are more suitable as pets, but it's important to choose from reputable breeders who follow health standards. However, taking care of pigs can be complex, and local rules about keeping livestock must be considered. If well prepared, pig personalities can be rewarding for dedicated owners. Pigs became well known through Aesop's fables, where their missteps often carried wise lessons. In children's classics like E.B. White's Charlotte's Web, pigs were portrayed as capable of true friendships, resonating with many readers. Animators also contributed to pig fame, with Walt Disney's Practical Pig Outsmarting Wolves and Warner Brothers' Porky Pig gaining immense popularity by the 1940s. During World War II, Porky Pig's face insignia adorned fighter noses. In the 1980s, the hair metal band Motley Crue, with their rose box tattoo, sold multi-platinum albums and showcased Vince Neil's wild pet pig in rock ballad videos like Home Sweet Home on MTV. Legal protections for domestic and wild pigs are on the rise due to public support. Nine U.S. states, for example, have banned cruel gestation crates. Wild boars receive hunting protections in certain nations, allowing managed recreational hunting to ensure species continuation. Animal rights groups such as PETA and the Humane Society have gained public support in ending institutional cruelty against domestic pigs. Consumer movements advocating for certified humane pork farming aim to reform inhumane factory farm environments, creating momentum for change. If current trends hold, Pigs' considerable charms will continue leaving their hoof prints visible across societies. As we wrap up this short history of pigs we want to hear from you. Drop a comment below sharing the first time you saw a pig or any fascinating wildlife moment. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more incredible content here on Earth Plus. Click on the next video to keep exploring the wonders of life on Earth or dive into our playlist for a stream of curiosity.
Thanks for joining us on this video, and until next time, have a good day.